Lee Tanner Museum. How was the first song the Jingle Bell? Was it okay? Or a little bit confusing? Maybe because of the left hand combination with the right hand. And if you try to speed up, it must be very confusing. That's okay. We still have time until the Christmas. So just keep practice. And today we're going to learn Deck the Halls. Now, this song is the same as the Jingle Bell. I posted the two scores. First one, without fingerings, and second one is with fingerings. Maybe if you practice with fingering, it's much easier. So that's fine. But if you can, try not to look at the fingerings. You have to look at the note head instead of the fingerings. Okay? With this song, we're going to learn moving up hand position and changing finger numbers, which is really important. Now let's see how it goes. Now, if you're looking at the score, left hand starts with C chord, and right hand starts with G, and just coming down to F, E, D, C, and going up and skip down. So it's known as pretty simple. We may have to count. Now let's see how it goes. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, and step down, down to here. Now, if you see left hand, so many lines. Do you see how many lines do we see? Three. Yes, what does it mean? Tied. So tied means you don't play it, but you just keep holding it. So previous note is four count, and the next note is four count. So we have to hold it for eight total. So once you play it, you just forget about it, but don't leave it. You cannot leave it. If you leave it, then it's not tied. So you have to just keep holding it. You know what? To keep holding the left hand, you need another extra attention. So don't forget to hold it down, the left hand, and we'll just keep on playing the right hand. We'll just go from the beginning. I guess that's easier. Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, three, step down. And then right hand down, but left hand starts with E. One, two. Step up, two. Both step up, and both skip down. Two, and both step up. Up, up, skip, step up. One, two, three, and step down, down, rest. But if you see it here, do you see a little dot? It's a staccato. So you have to leave short, one, rest. And then if you see, do you see the arrow mark? Means the note is going down. So C2 stepping down. But instead of going down like this, I want you to cross it over. We learned that technique before, right? So it goes one, rest, and then one, rest, and coming down to C again, two, three, four. This is another lesson point. Crossing over the fingerings. You have to remember, okay? And then as you see, we have repeat sign. So we go back to beginning again and play one more time. One, two, three, step down. is part B. Moving on to part B, right hand on D, left hand G. And also if you see it, the next note, left hand tied to next note again. So you just play it and keep holding it. Let's go. One, two, three, step up, step up, two, one, two. And this time we have to play it again, the left hand. Why? 
because there was no time. So just that's new note. But the next to note is tied again. So next to note you have to hold it. But that this note you have to play it. One, two, three, four, tie, two, one, two, and then one, two, three, rest. And here, if you see it, the arrow, and we said move it up to A, next to note. But we move with finger number three. So from here to going like this, do you see it from five to moving like this? So you have to be careful. That's why I wrote it with red pen. One, rest. During the rest, you have to prepare to move it on. And I'm going like this. One, two, step down, two, down, two, one, two, three, and rest. During the rest, you have to come back to the original position with finger number five on C and left hand is C chord again. One, two, three. This part is the same, so this part A is coming back again. Down, one, two, one, two, and put it together. It's the ball, two, ball, two, one, two. Only this part is a little bit different from the part A. Now, the right hand, you shift it up to A. So from G to A, going up. Just like, do you remember the jingle bell we learned? Yeah, shifting up. Of course, jingle bell is shifting the finger number from the same note. But this one is we go up to the right next note. One, two, three, four. And then we come down with finger number five again. Step down, left hand, ski. One, two, down, two, step down, two, three, four. So that the whole, the most confusing part is the fingering. That's what is our lesson point for today. As you play the song, you have to remember the fingerings. When there is rest, you have to move it up to the eighth, the next position. And also, the very last line, if you see the 5 and if you play it right away, then it's going to be you hit on the G. But that's not the right note. You have to go off to A. 2, 3, 4. And if you see a finger number 5 and play it again, then you will hit the A. But it's not. The extra note is the G, so you have to come down to G. And step down, down. So whenever I mark, you have to be careful with it. Otherwise, you will hit on the wrong notes. Okay. Now, this time, I will play it a little bit faster. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, down. Down. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
if you remember the fingerings and the, the positions. Otherwise, if you don't remember, then you will keep messing up. So be careful with that. Now, I hope you enjoy this song, and we'll see you next time with other Christmas songs. Stay warm and healthy, and I will see you next week. Bye!